Hi everyone, hope that you all go through our previous videos on ISO 22000 standard. In last video we discussed about the clause 6, planning. So today you are going to learn about clause 7 support section. This section looks at the resource, competence, awareness, communication and documentation of AFSMS. Ok, so let's start with first section 7.1, Resources. The organization should consider about the capacity of, and any constraints on, existing internal resources and the need for external resources. Resources including people, infrastructure and work environment. People. The organization should demonstrate the competence of people who are engaging in food safety management system in order to fulfill their particular responsibilities. When hiring external expertise evidence of agreement or contracts defining the competency, responsibility and authority of external experts shall be retained as documented information. Infrastructure Infrastructure means determining, providing and maintaining the premises, equipment, software, transportation, storage and technology, that are needed to carry out your business operations. Infrastructure can include land, vessels, buildings and associated utilities, equipment, including hardware and software, transportation, information and communication technology, when taking about infrastructure, you need to consider how provide, manage and maintain the equipment and area in effective manner. So you have to demonstrate the conformity of infrastructure, some examples to demonstrate conformity are a list of equipment in use, resources planning, maintenance planning of premises and equipment, maintenance records, work environment. Here you don't misunderstand the term work environment. The standard doesn't mean the great outdoors by work environment. This means providing suitable environment to achieve conformity with the requirements of the FSMS. A suitable environment can be a combination of human and physical factors. Physical factors such as temperature, heat, humidity, light, airflow, hygiene, noise. Human factors such as employee well-being, stress reduction, clear lines of reporting, employee appraisals, reward systems. The work environment can be easily controlled by the implementation of prerequisite programs. Externally developed elements of the food safety management system and control of externally provided processes, products or services. This section focuses on ensuring that all external processes, services or products will not affect the safety of your finished products or services. The company should ensure that outsources processes are approved and monitored, to ensure that they effectively manage risks to product safety and quality and are operating effective traceability processes. The external elements would be controlled through the valid food safety certifications, supplier audits, certificate of analysis and declarations. The evaluation and continuous monitoring of performance of providers is a must. Competence and awareness. Let us we look at the definition of term competence. Competence means the demonstrable ability to apply skill, knowledge and understanding of a task or subject to achieve intended results. An organization working effectively and efficiently must have competent personnel. Competence can include consideration for Capability to fulfill the task based on defined job roles and clear understanding of the consequences of its performance in food safety knowledge and experience of the food safety team defined methods of recruitment with consideration for temporary or agency employees awareness of food safety hazards associated with the products and processes legal requirements individual capabilities including experience language skills literacy and diversity you should routinely review the competency of staff 
they should maintain documented programs covering the training needs of relevant personnel. All relevant personnel, including engineers, agency supplied staff, temporary staff and contractors should receive training on allergen management, pest control, and GMP. Records of all training should be available. These records shall include the name of the trainee, confirmation of attendance, date and duration of training, training provider, title of the training. The need for refresher training can be also detected by corrective actions, management review meetings, results of internal audits, specific competence depending on the role, Awareness of the food safety policy, objectives relevant to their tasks can be addressed through ensuring your FSMS is explained during recruitment and induction, at regular appraisal or review meetings with line management, through regular meetings. Communication The key to running a FSMS is effective and efficient internal and external communications. There must be an efficient communication system with providers of services, products or processes, customers, and regulators among others interested parties, and also internally with the food safety team. In conclusion, the communication system shall include all interested parties. And don't forget to clearly define that who will be the person that responsible for these communications. The evidence of external and internal communication shall be retained as documented information. And most important point is, the outcome of the relevant internal and external information must be used as input to the management review. Documented information. In simply standard states that you must keep it up to date documents and, you must keep records as evidence that you have satisfied that particular requirement. We believe that you are well aware on control of documented information. Hence here we are not going to explain this clause more. Here is what minimum documented information the standard requires. Hopefully stay tuned with us for the next episode, Explanation of Clause 8, Hazard Control. Thanks for watching us and we are highly appreciate your comments and suggestions for further improvements of our channel. 
food desk. 